Well, this is morning number two on Thomas and I's camp out. Much more peaceful morning than we had yesterday morning up at Turnip Seed. As you can see, we are the only ones here. So that made a, a nice peaceful sleep last night. No Boy Scouts, no car alarms, no door slamming. This was much better. This is one of my favorite spots to camp up here at uh, Chihaw. This is on the Chinnabee Silent Trail. Right on the uh, Chihaw. I guess it's a Chihaw Creek, I guess. I really don't know what this little waterway is called, but uh, it's right at the Chihaw Falls, which are right over that way, which you can probably hear. So, this was much nicer. There's a nice little camp spot right over there on the other side of the creek. Hadn't, hadn't camped over there yet. They have a fire ring. A little open area. We usually camp over here on this side. Oh, Thomas is starting to stir over there. So, looks like we'll get some breakfast going here in just a minute. And see what the day holds. Alright, this morning Thomas and I are going for a walk uh, over towards Devil's Den, which is another set of waterfalls and along the creek. So we're slowly making our way through the woods. It's a pretty morning. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Doing a little bit of a hike. You can see it's pretty nice back over here. We'll talk to you later when we make it over there. See ya. Well, this appears to be the remnants of an old moonshine still here on the trail. I guess that's what it is. It's right on this little stream that runs right through here. So that would make sense. Be a good spot for a moonshine still. And looks like that's what's left of it. So. Interesting find. Well, we're down at Devil's Den, down in a little canyon here. Cold. The water is cold. Soaking our feet a little bit, letting them cool off. Nice, quiet little place. This place was completely underwater back in the spring during a flood. You can see all these trees that are washed down and all this underbr underbrush that got pushed down this way. All this over here was from a big flood down here in the spring that closed one of the other campgrounds. Very hard to walk. And a uh, good bit of the trail is, is really hard to, hard to get through. We had to really kind of go under a bunch of underbrush kind of to get right through here down to the water but not bad it's still a nice place beautiful blue sky today and the colors are really nice on the trees beautiful day for a hike
hike back, have lunch at the shelter, and then head on down to camp, pack up, head to Chee Hall. We're gonna camp there for tonight. So we're there to eat lunch and then leave tomorrow to get back. So, yeah, bye. Chiha Falls, packed this stuff up, headed out to the car, and we are thinking about staying Yeehaw. up at the state park tonight. We were kind of figured we might go up there tomorrow anyway and get a shower before we go home so we smell nice for mom when we get back. But we figured, you know what, we'll just go up there and spend the night in the primitive park and then uh, we'll be there tomorrow anyway. So that's what we're pretty much sure we're going to do. Uh, walking out, carrying a little extra weight. You can see there I got a tent that uh, someone decided to leave. So this old tent had been sitting down stream from us the last two or three nights. So we decided it looked pretty old and dilapidated and left. So I don't like to leave trash in the woods like that. So we packed it, packed it up and we're carrying it out. I'll either find something to do with it, use poles or something like that, or I don't know, may just throw it in the trash. But either way, I'm not leaving it in the woods. So we're headed out to the car now and we'll check back in when uh, we decide what we're going to do for the evening. Talk to y'all later. All right, we made it up to the state park. We're going to camp in these, what they call the semi-primitive area. Uh, this is the site we're on, overlooking inside there probably gonna be a little more windy tonight than we had the last two nights so I strung the tarps a little bit lower probably not super low so we'll see how that goes we may wish we had it a little bit lower if the wind picks up but that's the side of the mountain that way and there's a little pavilion up that way and the bathrooms are up that way not too terribly crowded, at least camping wise. There are a lot of day use folks coming through, but we'll see. Hopefully those will taper off here. So we're gonna go clean up a little bit and actually eat in the restaurant tonight. So we'll see how that goes. Thomas is starving. Finished dinner. So talk to you later. Now we're sitting at the campsite up here on top of the mountain. Enjoying the fire. Thomas was hungry, so we had steaks and potatoes for dinner down at the Chee Hall restaurant, plus fried popcorn shrimp for appetizer and salad bar. And Thomas is still hungry and eating trail mix. So, obviously, next time we camp um, or hike, I'm going to have to bring more food for Thomas. Or he's going to have to get a bigger pack on the So. But everybody's full right now, at least, well, at least I'm full, Thomas is still working on that. And we're enjoying the fire, and hopefully the wind will not be too strong tonight. It's supposed to be around three or four miles per hour out of the northeast, so hopefully it won't be too bad. And we'll stay warm and enjoy the night. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, here we are on day three of our camp out. Thomas is getting his sleeping bag out and starting to pack up. Uh, we're going to slowly get our things packed and then do a little sightseeing around here. We let, Last night we stayed up here at the state park, Chihaw State Park, the highest point in the state of Alabama. The tower is actually the highest point is up the road there at 2400 and seven feet or something like that so we're probably 200 feet or somewhere in that neighborhood uh, right now uh, the wind blew pretty good last night got down to 46 I think it was. Yep, 46 last night the temperature wise it wasn't too bad but the wind blew constantly 
And so what I did, as you can see under here, got my Warbonnet Blackbird, got a Jackson Better Greylock 3 under quilt, but I've got a, I took my Dry Ducks Poncho and kind of rigged it where I could hang it as sort of a wind block to keep the wind out, and that worked pretty good, so I'll be trying that again. Just thought I'd show that to you. This is an easy trail to hike here. They've uh, taken the old Ball Rock Trail right there, which is still there. You can hike this one out to the point. But they've added this several years ago. I don't know, probably 10 or 15 years ago, they added this wheelchair accessible walkway out there. So that gives you, a, makes the overlook accessible. Ball Rock. Of course, Thomas is over there walking through the woods because he's not going to do anything the easy way. All right, we'll show you Ball Rock here in just a few minutes. All right, here we are overlooking. I don't know what we're overlooking. We're up on Ball Rock, G Hall. And we can see a long way from up here. Can see where some people have cut some timber down there, looks like. Hiking, hiking, and camping. We Friday night we stayed at Turnip Seed Campground there in the Chihaw Wilderness area, and then we moved from there Saturday morning over to the Chihaw Falls area, camped at a little uh, camp site over there along the trail, and then early Sunday morning we got up and we hiked over to. Devil's Den. It's about a two mile, roughly, about a two mile hike over to Devil's Den and ate some snacks and hang it, hung out there around the, the little waterfalls there at Devil's Den. Cooled our feet off a little bit and hiked back, had lunch up at the Chihaw Shelter and then moved up to the state park. And Thomas was extremely hungry because apparently I didn't pack enough food. So we decided to spend our last night up at the state park and have dinner at the restaurant there at the state park. So overall we had a good trip, good weather, Very lots good of fun. Trip. Thomas, did you have fun? I had fun. He had fun, just didn't have enough food. No, enough food. Okay. So we'll do it again sometime. Uh, we had a good time. Hope you enjoyed the video just as much as we enjoyed making the video. And we'll talk to you guys.